Hi, and welcome to chapter six, which is on computer memory. Um, we've talked about computer memory, obviously, back in chapter one before. Um, if you remember, computer memory um, encompasses both, now that we know, cache and system memory. Uh, and computer memory is primary storage. If you remember, we talked back in chapter one about uh, primary storage being that storage that the CPU directly uses. So memory is primary storage, and then also remember memory is volatile storage, meaning that it goes away very easily. Memory is refreshed, uh, at least system memory is refreshed thousands of times a second. We'll actually talk about how many times that's refreshed uh, here in the chapter. Um, cache memory, not really. We'll learn why in this chapter as well, but memory is considered. Um, primary storage and volatile storage. When we reboot our device, everything in memory is gone, which is why we call it volatile. We talk a little bit this chapter, a little more about memory leakage and what that is and why it's volatile and why rebooting our computer fixes things uh, so easily. So remember those things. So this chapter is to get us to know a little bit more about memory. So our goal in the chapter is to understand memory. So let's get straight into uh, what we are talking about today when we're talking about understanding memory. So first of all, there's two kinds of memory. Uh, we know that we've got system memory and we've got CPU cache memory now, but there's a difference between those two kinds of memory. So uh, the difference being that um, we have static RAM uh, and we have dynamic RAM. Static RAM is that memory that once the CPU puts information into it, it's static. Static means it doesn't move. So it, there's no requirement for it to be refreshed. Uh, dynamic RAM has to be refreshed every few milliseconds. Actually, we're down to nanoseconds that it's refreshing. Uh, and the memory controller on the motherboard itself is what refreshes it. This kind of memory, dynamic RAM, is what we have on our sticks of RAM today um, because it has to be refreshed. Now, the difference between the two is really this, that main memory uh, or system RAM is, is dynamic. It's constantly being refreshed, and it's a little bit slower than, um, than uh, static RAM, but static RAM while it's faster, is also far more expensive. So uh, CPU cache is made uh, out of static RAM that's written to, and it just stays there until the CPU unwrites it, deletes it, moves it, or we lose power. Whereas dynamic RAM is written to our memory sticks, and they're refreshed every few milliseconds, uh, but it's far less expensive than static RAM. So we've got, or the, so we've got those two kinds of RAM. We've got dynamic, which is our system memory, those sticks that we put in, and we've got static RAM, which is the system cache uh, that's on the CPU. And like I said, that's faster, but it's more expensive, and that's why it's not uh, what's used in our um, sticks of RAM. We already learned this last chapter, right? What the difference between L1, L2, and L3 cache is, knowing the L1 is per uh, core, it's right on the, the uh, CPU core of the um, processor itself, whereas L2 uh, is slightly off of it, and L3 is that shared cache, also that Intel smart cache that, that we talked about last chapter. So there's the three kinds of static RAM, uh, four if you continue, consider Intel smart cache something different. Um, but those are the kinds of static RAM that we have um, on our motherboard.